Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, my introduction was like eight minutes. Yes, the next part was like longer than eight minutes. Yes, the third part was eight minutes. I will try my best not to make it too long. So, da da la. Conscious consumption, environment. Now, your environment includes not only you, but everything around you. If there's a router over there, you don't see the waves coming off it. If you hear a noise, that's your body being able to pick up a wavelength that your body can decipher and acknowledge. You hear a dog whistle? No, because your body's not trained for that stuff. There's a limit. Same thing visually. You see that light out there? You only see in a spectrum. A teeny tiny sliver of a spectrum. It's tiny. And there's so much else out there, both beyond the earth and on the earth because you got like radio waves, Wi-Fi, cells, service stuff, which is technically same thing as like Wi-Fi. They're just energy emitting electromagnetic connections. And I mean, with a cell, like let's say here's the tower and you're like over here. It's not like, um, boom, a direct electric connection. It's more like a radar and then antenna at the same time too yeah they got data that can trace you and see the telemetry i think is the proper word to find out where it is and they can better shoot it if they got like a dish but it's still just a wave frequency like until it reaches your phone yeah this stuff happens like super quick but it still happens and these subtle little things affect yourself why because it goes through it i'm gonna send a message it goes through the wall it's magic so it's gonna go through you too i mean i can sit on frequencies and it's still gonna go through it's like an earthquake it can be sent wave wise through the earth and travel even if it's not near the earthquake and there's proper terms for that but i don't know them right now so i'm not gonna say them but it does and for example if you also have water, you can actually send waves and it's going to be stored as like the memory inside the water structure because that stuff's adaptable. So there's some things it can't get go through. And let's say like even like an earthquake wave that goes through the earth because it's able to easily make it go far. And when it hits the center of the earth, it actually gets observed. Observed. Is not a word so don't use it what I really meant was observe there we go gold star for this kid so we are trying to describe that an earthquake that goes through the center of the earth is actually um, modified like it's absorbed some of it so it either goes in another direction it curves um, or it's just not as powerful so I mean you have these solid things that can go through something like I can have like a piece of tourmaline and that actually can get in the way of me and a wavelength and block it. Crazy, huh? It's all about the matter and what they can store. Because some of these stones can actually absorb. Like they're like, oh, I'll feed it for you. Like a plant taking stuff out of the air and be like, yeah, I'm going to eat that. Um, there's plants just like, uh, I got one over here. It's an African violet. Ta-da! Now, these are great for actually blocking electromagnetic frequencies or at least absorbing them and putting them to good use so like i got a little stuff like that here and there and there are things out there that are able to adapt to this environment but there is a whole world out there of stuff we don't see and the thing is the vitality of each and every cell if it's like being bombarded by something non-stop or like a lot it's not going to be able to be like oh i'm trying to focus and do my cell stuff because i'm a cell trying to exist and live and live my potential because I'll end up dying and be reborn in several years, at least in the human body. 
Ha, fun fact for you. So, as I look at my computer screen, I'll the little notes I did for this whole thing because I wanted to make sure I covered some cool stuff. Not cool, but informative. That's right. Mm hmm. So, we are now on the cells and how they want to be loved and lived in the highest of its potential. So, we listen to these multiple channels and we're like, trying, it's like trying to focus with like three things being played at the same time. You're like, ah, this is kind of annoying. This is kind of annoying. I can't perform at my best. Well, as above, so below. Logic applies. It's from the logos. We'll see. So, and all that's going on, it's an energetic exchange too. So if it's existing inside and going through your cell, whatever energy is inside that cell also has to share that same energetic existence. Like even if like most of reality is just empty space and there's these little energetic clusters, those little gaps still have to result in that energy to exist. And even if it's quantum, it's still going to go through and exist while something else exists. So if you're trying to have two things exist, there has to be a polarity of what actually takes its form. So if it's going through something, now I'm talking on like a really, really, really macro scale. Not on the stuff like, life is particles, so we're going to make a particle collider thing and put all our money into it. Um, it's not about that. It's, it's a lot deeper because it's a fractal world. It's no end in sight where that goes. It's infinite. Yeah, that's life. So we got that energetic exchange. And now you got to da, 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 people. Yes, people. Who people? All people. Why people? Because people like to people. They do people things. They have emotions. They have thoughts. They have actual influence. And I guess power to have effect or influence. And sometimes you got to be conscious of the people you hang out with or the people you talk to or what people do that you're so focused on. And not only the people out there are, you know what? The people out there and you are the same type of people. So when I say these people, you are included. I am included. There are people. But the thing is, people each have their own personal experience and conscious awareness of being. So everyone has their own perspective. So you have someone who is not aware of their participation or what they bring into the world, Ugh. you will also technically consume if it's brought into your awareness. Now you don't have to participate in it at the same time too. You can neglect it and just neutralize it. Be like, oh, you wanna bring this my way? I'm gonna be like, nope. I mean, it's the same thing that you just did with the media. You just said, okay. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I don't do it. I don't have to say, no, I'm not going to talk to you. Yeah, you can manage it. But at the same time, too, you just got to know where to pick what you'd like to do with your time. Attention goes where energy flows. I said that backwards. Ugh. Energy flows where intention goes. Yeah. Yeah. You can have that gold star back. So, um... The people and the interactions and we got the whole omittance because a lot of people like to think that they don't have a part to play but they're actually playing a part because it's their ego their ego is their driving force their natural expression when the light of their birth coming into the world along the wheel they have a harmonic frequency a geometric setup of each and every planet that held an influence because they also just like a router or a cell phone emit and go out there so that little blueprint, in the moment of time you stepped into the world outside the womb and you got disconnected from another's being, you formed your own being. That self-sufficient being stored that light pattern at that time. Why? Because you became susceptible to it and that just happens to be who you are. Just look into astrology. Shit's real. Or at least it has substance to it. Now... The whole concept there is that everybody's different. Everybody has their part to play. Everybody can do what they can do. And some people just are compatible. Some people are not. Some people do things one way. Some people process things another. 
humans are a complex thing. Yeah, we can understand patterns and we can understand collective patterns. And there's actual information out there of studies of managing and controlling a huger populace. But that can be neglected if you know what you are doing. So awareness is the biggest key, which brings us back to this conscious consumption topic. You got to be aware of what you are doing, where you're going, what you like to do, and what you have for your body. Everything you do, everything you eat is a part of you. So that consumption is really what do you want to pee? And that's a big question for some people because they don't even know who they are. It's sad, I know. But we're learning and we're getting there. And whether they like it or not, astrology has some things coming that these people are going to have to express through the collective some way or another. And they're going to have to learn to either understand the reality or learn things the hard way. And shit's going to get like intense if you are no clue what is happening. So do your best, really. That's kind of like the advice I give. Everyone's doing their best. So just love each other along your way. You're going to get there. Life does its thing slow. It's not going to be like overnight. I need to change who I am. No, what are you doing? You're crazed. Chill. Just do you. Do you in that moment. What feels right? Like, you also don't need to be told to do something. You're welcome to see opinions, but you don't take it as your own. You apply it in, yes, I am aware of that perspective, but what is your perspective? Now ponder on that. And now I've completed this series, and I'm at 11.49 and counting. Oh boy, I made you sit through this. Sorry. Not sorry. I mean... Life brought you here, so love that moment. I needed to drop something into your awareness, so roll with it. Maybe you'll resonate or pick up something from it or learn here and there. I like teaching. So yeah, well, yeah, we'll do that video ending part because that video ending part is has to conclude. Yeah, so I guess there's this thing here. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to say it's here because I get to put them there. And there's another one over here. And sometimes they make me put like a playlist. So I guess it's going to be like right here. Like I'm going to fit it so it's inside my arms like this. I am the playlist. Life just got 